Hi guys, welcome to Educating Shani. I'm Shani and I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi Shani, hi. So I'm re um, I caught a cold over the weekend and or like a sore throat, fever, those kinds of things. Um, and I have been trying for two hours now to make a reaction video for you to my day in the life of a bulimic, but it's really not going well and I've fainted a couple times. Um, I don't know what else to do right now because I know that I need to just go lay down and I don't have a video for you today So I'm so sorry about that um, So I just thought I'd pop on for like five minutes and let you know How things are going so like I said, I'm gonna be doing a reaction. Why am I a ghost? I know I'm sick, but I'm not that pale I don't know how to fix this That's okay. Um yeah, so I'm going to be uploading my reaction to Day in the Life of, of a Bulimic and what I already tried to film so far and I didn't get very far was extremely difficult for me. So we'll see how that goes. I'll probably film that if I get an hour of not being nauseous tonight, then I'll film it and edit it and upload it tomorrow, hopefully. But I wanted to give you something right now. So yeah, uh, I'm okay. Other than that, what else? Oh, I did want to tell you, please go and support Shelton, my little brother. He's not my little brother, but I've adopted him as my little brother or my nephew or something. He's such a cutie pie, and he just posted a really fun fall haul video from Bath and Body Works, and it's super cute, and he's so super cute and sweet. So please go support him, because you're going to be seeing a lot more of him on my channel and me on his channel, and he's going to be teaching me a lot of things and helping me with a lot of things and he'll be there at CVX live and all the things oh that's another thing so CVX live is interesting by the way subscribe to Shelton watch his video I'll post everything below as per usual but CVX live if you don't know is September 21st and 22nd and it's here in Provo Utah and if you would like to come I would love to meet you I'm getting my own booth it's a lot more expensive than we thought it was going to be, um, but we're going to do it because I really want to meet as many of you as I can. Um, so please come and support me if you can. If not, that's okay. But if you're in the Utah area or if you feel like you can travel to come, then come. But I mean, don't go out. Of, don't like do it just because I tell you, like only if you really want to. But if you are in the area, I would love for you to come and meet me and support me because I feel like I'm going to be the one booth that no one's gonna visit because <laughs> no one knows who I am <laughs> so I'm gonna be like with Rebecca Zamolo and the Ballinger family and okay baby and and Brooklyn and Bailey I think are coming again who else is coming I don't know just a lot of people who all have over a million subscribers and I'm gonna be there like hi I have 87,000 which I'm grateful for but they're like okay bye. Um, but really I am grateful for that, but I'm just saying that it will feel, it might feel a little awkward for me. So as many of you that can come, can come, that would be great. Um, I'll see what I can do about like a discount on tickets. Actually, I shouldn't have told you that cause that might not even be a possibility. I haven't asked yet, but I will ask. And if there is one, then obviously I'll give you a discount code, but for right now, um, yeah, anyway, either way. So if you're going to be in Utah around that time, I'm probably going to do meet and greet outside of CVX too sometime that weekend for those that can't afford to get into CVX. So stay tuned for that. I'll let you know. So just mid end September, if you're going to be around then stick around and come and see me and meet me and hug me. And I can't wait to see so many of you that are coming. And I'm so grateful for those of you that are coming. What else can I tell you right now? I'm so dizzy. Ugh, my throat hurts so bad. Um, just, I guess just that a lot of you are struggling really bad right now. And, mess. And I want you to know that, um, <clears throat> that I know a lot of you have wanted to completely give up lately on life and then you don't and I just want you to know that that right there alone makes you so brave and so strong 
and so amazing. And you should give yourself credit for that because that's the hardest thing in the world for me, honestly, is to know that you want to do something so bad, but then you don't go through with it. And then you feel like you can get through anything because you literally just beat death or something. <laughs> <coughs> No third one? I always do at least three. Rude! <laughs> this thing sucks. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, so just give yourself some credit for that. And just remember that you're not alone. Even if you feel like you're alone. And just try your hardest as I'm trying to do. And it's hard. It's hard work, guys. But we got to keep trying to stay as positive as we can. And you know, to get through this stuff. Uh, I did want to say that I've been getting so many messages from people, and if you're not on Instagram, then you don't know this yet, but I've been getting a lot of messages about what happened on the live stream a couple days ago and asking me to say something about it or react to it or whatever. Um, and I already did that on Instagram, but I know a lot of you don't have Instagram. So I'll just tell you here, um, I'm okay now, and that's what matters. It, uh, triggered me big time and brought up some really hard things for me and it made me feel like it was my fault the way that he worded it was and because of you I'm doing this um which is child pornography it's like he said thanks to you I I feel tricked and I feel I felt manipulated because first half of his his uh, comment, I usually just skim over it so I don't read the whole comment, but I could tell that the first half was so lovely. So I'm like, how could this possibly? And I felt trick in, tricked into saying that phrase, and that phrase for me um, is not okay for me to say or hear. Um, yeah, but he said, hey, you helped me beat drug addiction, and thanks to you, now I'm addicted to child porn instead. And I just... And I read that out loud without, and it didn't process till at, right after I said pornography. It didn't process. And it was like a fuse in my head just blew completely. And I felt really gross and it took me back to some really hard things. And that phrase alone holds a lot of heaviness in my uh, history. And yeah. So that's what happened. But I talked through it and I worked through it and we all worked through it on Instagram together because a lot of other people were triggered too. And that's what I've been trying to do lately is to work through my triggers and I've been starting to encourage others to work through their triggers. So if you're triggered by something and your first reaction is to just leave which mine was, and I went silent for a little bit. I didn't know what to do because I knew I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to give up. So I just sat there like trying to gain up every strength that I have had inside so that I could say why that hurt me so bad. And I had every right to say why that hurt me so bad. Like it was so gross and so like the worst thing you could say to me. Um, so anyway, and, I, and I've been doing this a lot lately and so have a lot of the people on the Insta fam and I would just encourage you to do it too. If you're feeling triggered, try your best to stick it out and work through it instead of avoiding it if it's your trigger. And I'm telling you, this has been a very crucial part of my recovery lately. And so just trust me on this one. Um, yeah. What else can I say? I think that's about it. Um, by the way, I'm seriously, I'm totally over it now and I'm okay. I processed it, I got it out, I worked through it, and now I'm great. I'm just updating you, those of you who don't have Instagram, I just want to update you. So, I'm all good. So, anyway, I'm going to go and get some rest, hopefully, and <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow for a video. I don't know what it will be, but hopefully I'll be feeling good enough to make that uh, reaction video. Tell me in the comments below if you want me to do that. Um, if I'm sick tomorrow then it will be one of those like I hold the phone up and react to it because I'm not a fancy editor and I don't know how to make the screen pop up to what I'm reacting to 
So that's what it would be if you guys want me, if I'm sick tomorrow and I feel like I can't post or I can't like do too much, are you okay with me just reacting to the video on my phone? Or would you rather just wait till I feel better to have another video? Let me know in the comments below which, which one and that would be helpful for me. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go because I'm getting dizzy. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. And remember forever and always that you're beautiful, you're worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye. Oh. <laughs> okay, bye.